ancient man quite obviously was unaware of these modern discoveries when he looked up at the sky he beheld a vast dome on which were stuck a fascinating array of objects the sun the moon the planets myriads of stars and the occasional comet or meteor whizzing by when our ancient ancestors looked more carefully at the sky and made some rudimentary measurements they were puzzled by what they found while the stars appeared to have a perfectly uniform circular motion around the earth other objects in the sky like the sun the moon and the planets did not these latter bodies seemed to have an independent and strange motion of their own at times these bodies appeared to be nearer as they looked a little larger and at other times farther away as they looked really small sometimes they were moving slowly and at other times they were moving much faster and most perplexing of all at times some planets were seen to stop moving and go in reverse this is a phenomena called the retrograde motion or the vakragati when mathematics and geometry had advanced sufficiently our ancestors developed an ingenious geometric model the so called epicycle system which believe it or not very neatly explains all these variations in speed proximity and direction of these heavenly bodies european scholars have been claiming for the past 200 years that it was the greeks who invented the epicycle model and that indians copied it from them indian scholars are now beginning to challenge that what exactly is an epicycle in simple terms an epicycle is a circle moving on another circle so let us see how the power of the epicycle was applied to astronomy starting with the greeks this circular orbit is shifted rightward of the deferent so that the earth is not at its center such a shifted circle is also called an eccentric does this eccentric orbit exhibit the same features as the elliptical orbit let us see at point p we note that the eccentric orbit is closest to the earth and at point a it is the farthest well that at least explains the variation in proximity as the planet is sometimes seen near and sometimes far further we observe that the orbital fragment xpy is smaller than the fragment xay but note that both these arcs are equal to 180 degrees that is half the sky as seen from the earth that is the planet takes lesser time to cover arc xpy of 180 degrees and more time to cover arc xay also of 180 degrees in other words as seen from the earth the planet appears to move faster near the perigee or the point p and slower at the apogee or the point a which is exactly how an elliptical orbit behaves in summary the greek epicycle produces only a shifted circle and not an ellipse or other complex shapes while this is not great it is not bad either as the eccentric does simulate the main features of the elliptical orbit namely the proximity and the speed variations the indian epicycle shares the basic feature of the greek epicycle and it adds three levels of complexity on top of this which puts it on a different plane altogether let us examine these added complexities firstly the epicycle radius is not a constant so the epicycle enlarges and shrinks as it moves on the deferent secondly the details of pulsation are surprisingly complex thirdly the direction of the pulsation is not the same for all planets apart from these complexities another striking fact of the indian epicycle system is the fineness of the pulsation let us compare indian and greek epicycle techniques by applying them to the simplest possible orbit that of the sun and examine how well they predict its orbit the figure shows the error in the arc minutes of indian and greek epicycles for the sun for the years 2000 AD and 100 AD it is seen that the indian error for both dates is half that of the greek in other words the indian epicycle of the sun is twice as accurate as of the greek it also shows another interesting fact the indian epicycle of the sun was more accurate 
2000 years ago than it is today this naturally raises the question what if we go back further in time the figure highlights the interesting fact that the pulsating indian epicycle of the sun grows progressively more accurate as we go back in time reaching peak accuracy at about 5000 bc does that mean the indian epicycle of the sun was created in that time frame that is 5000 bc dare we make the conclusion is indian astronomy that old looking at the intricate design of the pulsating epicycle we can say for certain that the ancient indian astronomer spent a lot of time tinkering and fiddling with this model why would anyone do that unless it was to make his model as close to reality as possible if that line of reasoning is any good then applying a cushion on observational accuracy of say 5 minutes of arc we can state that the pulsating indian epicycle of the sun was developed somewhere in the period 8000 bc to 3000 bc as can be expected the british colonial rulers and their evangelical brethren were anxious to keep a lid on this astounding feature of the indian astronomy the situation today is a little better than what it was 150 years ago thanks to the complete hijacking of indian astronomy by western historians during the 19th century and 20th centuries here for example is what wikipedia says on the sun's orbit the babylonians in 3000 bc were the first to realize that the sun's motion along the ecliptic was not uniform the babylonians never used any epicycles much less a complex one like the pulsating indian epicycle it would be nice if indian astronomy got at least an honorable mention in regards to the sun's orbit alexander's invasion of india occurred in 326 bc very shortly afterward i mean 5 to 10 years later the greeks had suddenly acquired a ton of mathematics like the 13 books of euclid apparently out of thin air a few decades later they also acquired the epicycle technique which is credited to a gentleman named apollonius of perga a mathematician at alexandria in egypt a couple of hundred years later the greek astronomer ptolemy wrote a geography book that contains an astonishing amount of detail about the coast of south india particularly kerala the pulsating indian epicycle is one of the great wonders of ancient science the very fine pulsations that are set into the indian models for each planet indicate that the indian epicycle system is a result of a long and sustained tinkering over time it also implies that the indian astronomer had access to a vast collection of very accurate data we salute the ingenuity of the ancient indian astronomer not only in observational technique but also in devising the elegantly conceived pulsating epicycle if you like our research then follow our page satyalok on instagram and help us to spread the greatness of ancient india with as many people as we can stay tuned stay educated and last but not the least know your culture by self investigating the truth shubhaste panthana santu jai hind jai bharat tan tan ka tera kita tan tan ta tet tet tera kita tera kita tet tet tan ta tera kita tera kita ta 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 tan tan ta tera kita tan tan ta tet tet tera kita tera kita tet tet tera kita tera kita ta 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 Da 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 da